So you're running track at the University of Kansas, and then you try out for the football team. Talk us through that. What was that? What were, What was your thought process there? Man, you know, track was something that kind of came a lot easier to me. I definitely wasn't a world beater. I mean, track is a very, very, very hard sport. And there's fast people at Division One all the way down to JUCO, you know. And so um, I felt like it was – it just came easier to me. And so it was a comfortable thing. And I felt myself uh, getting a little bit complacent. You know, I had gotten there on a scholarship. I had gone through my first season. And it wasn't quite the fun that I thought it was going to be, probably because I wasn't winning like I was in high school. But the other part was that I just didn't feel like, um, for me, I wanted a different challenge. And I'd had a really good senior season, and I had committed early for track. And so I was like, man, I didn't really ever get to experience my max potential. So I went in and I said, hey, do you think that I can play? I would love to try out. And they said, listen, it's going to be a hard road. Uh, you know, in high school, I was a running back. They're like, we're going to try you at receiver, try it, you know, wherever we can fit you in. You're obviously very fast, but um, we promise that if you stick with it, you have a shot. And I said, all I want is a shot. And so I went out there and I walked on. And uh, that first year was basically like a redshirt year for me, even though I'd already kind of had my redshirt years uh, doing track. And it was a developmental year. And I took that as uh, I'm going to show them that I'm tough. I'm going to show them that I'm here to play and got scout team player of the year that year and worked really hard. And the next uh, three years after that, I saw the field and it was uh, one of the greatest experiences of my life. Take me to the one place that you played. I think I have an answer where you're going to go with this, that you were just like in awe to, to walk on that field, to play there, to be in that moment. Where was that? You know, to me, I mean, there's some big games that I was a part of. But for me, being a Nebraska kid, one of the most special places that I was able to go to was playing at the University of Nebraska. I got the opportunity to play there twice. We lost, unfortunately, both times, but we won both times when we were at home. And it was awesome. You know, my dad is somebody that I've always looked up to a lot, uh, not just athletically, but obviously he's my father, and a huge mentor. And, you know, I think for years I always kind of thought, you know, I don't want to follow necessarily the same path as my dad because of these high expectations that, you know, he was a legendary Husker and he had done these different things. And then I think the more time that went along, I'm like, man, that's not a bad person to be compared to, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it was actually not bad to have those kind of expectations because, you know, if I could be a quarter of the man he is, that's uh that's an accomplishment. So to be able to step foot on the same field that I grew up going to, even though I was in a different uniform, uh, was pretty awesome for me. What was the moment like when you earned a football scholarship? Oh man, earning the scholarship. Uh, I can tell you, I was walking on campus and they called and they said, Coach Mangino wants to uh, talk to you. And I thought, oh, man, I'm either in trouble, so I'm certain, searching my mind, or something's good is about to happen. And when they made that announcement and, you know, the all my teammates are cheering and I'm in the meeting room, you've seen those kind of scholarship stories before on YouTube. And I can't tell you the flood of emotion that I felt because you truly, when you earn it and truly earn it, not like based on anything you did in high school, but what you did against your peers, you know, all of the um, time it takes and struggle it takes, it means something. And it felt like one of the greatest accomplishments that I've ever had in my life. And uh, I just knew that, you know, I had to do the rest of that season to prove that I, they made the right decision. And I think it uh, finished out my career pretty well. What was that conversation like when you called your parents to tell them that you had earned a scholarship? Oh, man, they're both crying. and You know, my, my dad was so pumped just because they knew that I was willing when I went into it. I, I'm not like delusional like some of these other guys that are playing like I played on special teams and I got was a reserve reserve receiver. I wasn't going to the NFL like the guys who started ahead of me at receiver. They all went to the NFL. They all got drafted. The guys who were on defense in the other positions was Aqib Tlaib at corner. He's in the, he's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Chris Harris, corner. He's a Hall of Famer. Daryl Stuckey, he was a pro bowler, you know, at safety. So it was like 
I felt pretty good about seeing the field at all, you know? And so the fact that I was able to get a reward and they saw that I stuck with it, even though I had, I was a role player, uh, they were just really proud of that. 